All right, so today's video, we are watching a Bronze 1 support on console. This player is new to Overwatch 2. Welcome. I hope you enjoy the game. It's always a, a swell treat and is now obsessed with it. They're normally a Zen player, but they've been trying to learn other heroes. It hasn't been going well, and now they're stuck in the, okay, this is according to them, in the dumps of bronze. I don't even, in, the, in this game, the Sombra got pretty heated with asking them to swap, saying they weren't getting anything done. The tank stood up for them, but they still want to know what they should be doing better. And that's what they said. Yeah, I, I didn't say that. Listen, if you're, if you're gaming in bronze, have a good time. That's what, all, that's what matters. All right, here we go. Also, is it me use the emerald weapon look cool here? That's the start. Be careful of this res. Be careful. Oh, thank you. No, 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 no. Don't try to res that. Don't. Okay, so we're going to start with the first step of this. If your teammate dies out of position, Actually, in general, if they get your teammate, do not feel obligated to go and res them. Just because you're on Mercy does not mean you need to res them. If you have communication with, let's say, your Zarya, hey, I'm going to bubble you, I'm going to go for res, I'm going to fly back to you, etc., that's a different story. But it, look where your angle was, do not go for that res. If you want to go for a riskier res, it takes a little bit more teamwork, otherwise it becomes a 50-50. And at that point, it's okay just to back up. Okay, it's time. No, no, no. Okay. Step two. If your teammate is out of position and you want to start super jumping up into the air, it's okay to super jump, but you also need to understand the position. And you're once again going into the middle of the of the open. So you're giving them free picks. So if you want to use your movement, that's fine, but you need to do it in a spot that isn't in front of their whole team. Good grab. Teammate is still alive. Be careful here now. Heal your heal your heal your Zarya. Heal your Zarya. Heal your Zarya. Heal your Zarya. Kill your Zarya. Kill your Zarya. Okay. All right, so we're going to pause for a second here. Uh, Battle Mercy is fine in the right scenario, but in that spot, your Zarya was low. The best thing you can do is heal your Zarya and hide behind the card for cover. The last thing you want to do in these situations is give them a free pick. Unfortunately, you did, and now you have to run back again. But it's been, been a tough start, I will say. It has been a tough start, but we all have moments like this, right? Sometimes you get rolled. Sometimes you don't. Yep. Now be careful because your, your team just lost the fight. So don't try to go into the end. There we go again. All right. Remember, if your teammates decide to go out of position, do not feel obligated to go out of position with them. Okay? I feel like about three out of your four deaths right now is you thinking you have to go and help your teammate who was just not in a good spot to begin with. Okay. Do not go in now. Do not go in. Do not. Do not. No. Get away from there. All right. You want to back away. Be careful, because they know you're here. Do not go in. Do not. This is not going to be. I. Be careful, because you don't want to go out of position for your teammates. You're sorry. There you go. All right. So, so I, 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 I think already, if we can get you out of the habit of feeling like you have to go and save your teammates and have to go in and get a res off, you're going to see a huge increase already. And this happens. Keep in mind, chat. By the way, just to kind of like stop for a second. They did say they're new to the game too, right? So like things that we know now in Overwatch, you probably don't want to go for. It takes time to get through some of like these, oh, I feel like I have to go in and res. I feel like I have to go in and save my teammate who's out of position, right? It comes to a point where you don't even know your teammate's out of position because you're still learning the game. But sometimes it happens, right? And this is why it's also good when you see these spectators because this is the type of information that you can see this and be like, okay, wait a second. Like, I got to stop doing this. And even if you do this 50% less of the time, you're going to get better results, right? It's not going to be perfect. Watch it. Do, do, do. Wait for it. I mean, they've been damage boosted. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh oh. Okay, so 
in that situation, the best thing you can try to do is just fly to one of your teammates or go to where you know the map cover is, okay? I, I knew right away, though, if you're Zarya to turn around a bubble, you're going back to spawn real quick. You're going back to spawn real quick. It's been a tough start. It happens, okay? It happens. Yeah, I mean, like, as long as your Farah is not a position, you can go with your Farah. You can go with your Genji, too, believe it or not. Genji, I think, is a little bit underrated in, like, damage boosting a Genji or, like, being with a Genji. It's not, like, perfect, but it can definitely work well. Okay, do not feel obligated to res that Farah. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought the res spot was in a different spot. I'm okay with that one. Did it not look like the Farah was, like, on the ground in the middle of the road there? I did not think that's what the Farah was for the res. I didn't even see that. I was looking down at the ground. It looked like they were, like, in the middle of the road or something, like, on the ground. I was like, oh, wait a second. That that was a fine res. <laughs> I was I was concerned for a second there. I'm like, wait a second. I'm okay with Battle Mercy for a bit, but be careful to your left. Your Genji is taking up. Yep, there's your Genji. Remember, Valk is good for that stuff, but, like, also look at your teammates during that, because your Genji could have definitely benefited from heals. Uh-oh. Well, sometimes you don't have to super jump just to super jump. I feel like sometimes you're actually taking more damage doing that. Yep, damage boosting your Zarya is good. You got slapped a little bit. It's, it's, it's okay. Heal your Zarya now. Heal your Zarya. Don't fly. Okay, there we go. I'm going to be honest with you. You were screwed either way there. I I, I don't even think there's anything you could have done from a... Yeah, you, 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 yeah that, that was, you were just getting... There was nothing you could do there. There was a Rhine behind you. Like, there was no way you're surviving that. You can damage boost any of them. You can damage boost the Genji. You can damage boost the Bastion. You can damage boost the Zarya. All of them are good options. Heck, you can damage boost the Kiriko. Good damage boost option. Good job. See, that, that was a good damage boost. A good grab followed up by a damage boost onto a Bastion. Wonderful. That was great. Wait for it. That's a... Shatter? Don't don't try to res that. Do not try to do not do not try to res that. Don't. Okay, so I I just want to once again kind of get you in the mindset of like you do not have to go for these reses even if like it's an option, right? Like sometimes it's okay to just go die and cart there, but like when you go for these reses, I need you to think about the next step. Okay, okay, you res in front of their whole team. Let's say that you miraculously res the Zarya. What happens next? You're going to fall over, and then your Zarya goes, why did you res me? You get what I'm saying? Some reses that are risky can be okay, but you have to think about the next step of that. What happens if it is a successful res? What's the next step? Okay. Okay, so when you Valk, I don't think you want to fly straight up into the air against their team. Valk allows you to chain your your heals and your damage. So, like, the way that Valk works is it kind of, like... It, I mean, people who play WoW know what Chain Lightning is, but, like, it's going to chain to your teammates. So you don't need to necessarily fly up into the middle of the air, right? You, you, like, you can stay on the ground there if you want. But when you Valk, try to, like, get the benefit of that. Otherwise, you're going to fall over. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so that, that was a tough start. But there is plenty of time in this game. So maybe at some point, we'll see a bit of, like... You know, I, I think we'll, I think we'll see, you know, improvement as we go here. And look at this, on to Life Weaver. Careful of your positioning. All right, so Life Weaver now, different play style. We'll see how it goes. But well, what makes Sigma hard to play sometimes is the projectile. The aim and style on projectile and having like the way that it works, it takes a while to get used to that. Even I, I if I say, say I play like 10 games in a row on D.Va and I go play a Sigma game, it takes me like a couple minutes to get into the projectile. All right, a better start here for you, right? This is good. Your teammates are also playing well, so that helps. But it also helps you're not going in and, and, and feeding on cooldown either, right? Like, it's, it's, it's a good... Yeah, it just shows you that, like, if you have good positioning and you're not overly feeding, you can get good value. And I think you would have had that same value on Mercy to a certain extent. You know what I mean? 
You don't necessarily need to pull your Widow from the high ground there, but it, it's fine. Hey, I, I will take it. Heal your teammate. Back away. Just heal your team. Nice. There you go. Uh, yes. Hey! Good job taking your teammate with you there. Nice. I will say, I feel like your Life Weaver has been... You've been playing a Life Weaver a lot better than you were playing your Mercy so far, which is good to see. But I also think, like, this just kind of shows you that if you have good position and you're not overly trying to do too much, you can get a lot done. And it felt like on Mercy, you were just trying to do too much. Which, that could go for any hero. I feel like sometimes that like can be a culprit when you're playing games. Or ranked, is that like you just try to do too much. Like, you think you have to do more than you actually have to do. And I think that's what happens. That goes for any role, any rank. Use your tree aggressively here. I'd like to see that. I'll take that. You know what? I respect it. We take those. Not bad on the damage output. You lost your, your Somber there, but it's okay. Now remember, you do have teammates. I want you to pay attention to... Remember, someone behind you is shooting you. There is a Mercy. I'm pretty sure there's a Mercy behind you. That, that there, there is 100% a Mercy behind you. If you're wondering where this Winston and Mercy just came from, there was a Mercy shooting at you the whole time. There you go. Do I make a YouTube video out of every spectator? And for the most part, we do, yes. Okay, there you go. Don't worry about your... No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, so you have this... Okay, I, 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 I want to point this out to you because this is a good, like, learning point for you. Stop trying to go for... Like, to save teammates out of position. You're, 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 not, you're not worried. You're just worrying. So you're hard focused on your teammate that you're not paying attention to the other the other team if your teammate is out of position that is on your teammate you do not need to like go across like a like a valley to try and save your teammate plus on top of that you have a kiriko there that was healing him that is this is the stuff that i you did it on mercy a lot and now you're doing it on life weaver you need to not don't let your teammates bad position give the other team a free pick and if you're gonna go and try to save your teammate take a route that isn't in the middle of the open Wait for it. Good heals. Heal your Sombra. Okay, your, your Kiriko has the heals. Heal your, heal your Zarya now. Just, just heal your Zarya. I, you can give a little bit more time. You don't need to do 20 healing every every time. You can, you can. It's okay to do that occasionally, but it's you can put a little bit more healing into your Zarya. Yep. Okay. All right. Be careful. You're you're try to do a little bit more healing than 20 healing per second there. All right. I well not per second. Probably even less than that. It, it's okay. To, you don't have to build up to 80 if you don't want to. But like, it, give your time to catch. Give yourself some time to catch up on the heals because you're definitely falling behind a little bit. I'd say. You have Ramatrel. You have maybe grab soon. No, not Ramatrel. Sorry, I said that because of Ram's wife. Okay. Here we go. Don't be afraid to use the tree. All right, there you go. Nice job, actually. That, that kind of made it a little bit hard for the Malga. Good play. Good tree. That was very well done. An aggressive tree. See what that Mercy just did right in front of you? That's what you did earlier. Wonderful. And then that's what happens. You see that? That Mercy is what you were doing earlier. And then they got the res off, but then look what happens. See what I'm saying? Much better for you on Life Weaver, by the way, than, than what we were seeing on Mercy there. Like, much better for you. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see that. All right, who do we got? Well, I mean, we can keep, keep going here. Wait for it. Good morning. How am I? Good. How about you? Here we go. Wait for it. What rank is this? Bronze. I'm sure it'll be fine, uh, Blitz. 
Positioning. You de positioning. There's a bastion. You need to use cover. Yeah, that's another thing you really need to do a good job of. Like, you can have... Like, you, like if you're going to play in an okay spot, then also use the cover around you. To make it easier. Oh, you're on Lucio now. Okay. Apparently, wall riding was not an option. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up, back up. Overtime spawns. Be careful. That's... No. You get away from that point right now. Do not go to this point. Be careful. I want you to be careful here. This is... Big slam! I... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. You survived a lot longer on point than I expected right there. I'll be real with you. You survived a lot longer on point than I thought. That was that was that was good. Alright, you gotta Alright, so you you gotta be careful of <laughs> You gotta be careful of like Kind of just like staying on the ground and going to the cart. Like what I want you to do is I actually like that you're using the balance of heal boost and, and damage boost. But remember that I want you to think about what it's like from their point of view. If there's a Lucio just on the ground going to the cart. And I think like a good way to explain this would be let me show you from the other team's point of view of what they see. All right, you ready? So we're just going to go to the Bastion right now. Okay. So what they see is a Lucio just front lining on the floor. So remember that the, the 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 radius, and I'll show you what I mean by that, is where you, there's a radius to Lucio that you can actually see. Um, so I'll show you in a second here. Actually, I don't know. Can you see it in a spectator? You may not see it in a spectator. I don't actually think I can. Basically, you have you have a radius that you'll see on your screen. That will that is where you like you can you don't have to be like right in front of everybody when you use that. Hey, okay, yep, there you go. Yep. Be careful of going in front again. You don't. You're not the tank here. Be careful of this. I, I want you to be really careful here. You're not. A, okay. So I. I want you to focus on your positioning. All right. So when you're going in front of the cart like that, what's happening is you're an easy pick. You can play from an angle with your with, with Lucio. You can also like wall ride. So if you go up against a wall and and um, I don't know the exact key binds on on what, what console you're on, but wall ride it, it should be pretty. Not like, like, it's not necessarily easy, but like, you'll get a feel for it after you be careful. You don't, oh, that is a beat. All right. You know, next time with that beat, be a little bit more careful that, that, there we go. Yeah. Um, you want to try to be a little bit more careful with like, when you go in with that, because if they get you, you don't keep your beat. That's it. Your teammates don't get it and you don't get it. So just be careful on that one. Okay. Good job not overusing your heal boost here. That's good. Be careful here. Don't go. I'm getting the health back. Just be careful. I, I want you to be careful here because you're not, you're not. You almost just booped them off the cart to get the point. That was unbelievable. Yeah, so it it's gonna be about your positioning. I, I need you to start to focus on not just running at their team. So I, I want I want you to just be careful of that. All right? Because you're just yeah. That, that was a tough that was a tough half. So. Just remember, as Lucio, for you, what's going to benefit you the most is not running into their team like that. Play with your team, use your utility, but use it from range. You're not a tank. You're you're playing a support. Let's go see how your attack goes here. Let's see what, what support you're on now. Back to Life Weaver. Life Weaver went well last time. All right, here we go. With Lucy, you don't even have to be close to heal. I'll show you after this, okay? We'll add that to the video. I'll show you what I mean by the radius. I can heal you here. Nice, healing your team. Playing high grounds. Remember, you do have pedal too, so you can use pedal.
That's a Rhine. Be careful. Use your mobility. All right. You don't want to even let them get to you at that point. Use your mobility a little bit sooner. Remember, you have a pedal. The pedal will lift you up into the air, which will benefit you in that case. Be careful. You're not a tank. Nope. Nope. Okay. You're, you're positioning. Positioning would be in the front of their whole team. Be careful of that, okay? All right. Now, yeah, we're back on Moira, but now you're in front of their team again with this positioning. And you just use your mobility. So if you use your mobility like that, you're not going to have a way to escape. You just did with 10 HP. All right. So I want you to be careful of your healing orbs, too. You don't want to throw them into their team. They don't do anything. So if you're going to throw a, an orb, might as well throw a damage orb into their team now. Right? Oh, wow, your May had mail. That's impressive. I didn't even know they had ults. Wonderful. Remember, positioning is key. Use cover. Use walls. Yep, damage orb. I'm okay with that. There you go. That gets your healing resources up too. Throw a damage orb again. Throw a damage orb again. Stop using your fade so much. You're using it like really early on. Is that another window? Holy crap. Be careful. Uh, Chewie, thanks for the 17 months of the tier one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, be careful here. Remember, positioning is key. 98 here. Positioning is key. Not, don't stand in the car like this. It, it, position and hide. There you go. Play angles. Hide behind the cart. Play behind a wall. Be ready to go there. Don't, don't, no. Don't use your fade randomly. Play angles. They could have easily touched the point. Okay, so just so we can kind of focus up on here for a second, we have a few things to talk about to, to help you out a little bit here. One, when you're on Mercy, stop going for the risky reses. Stop super jumping just to super jump. Your movement and like where you ended up at was giving them free picks. You don't have to go for those risky reses. Even if you cut that in half by 50%, you'll see improvement. Life Weaver, you have a pedal. Use your pedal. Don't be afraid to use your pull. Use that mobility to help you out a lot. When you're on Lucio, you can wall ride. You do not want to run to the cart. You can be at a, at a certain range to heal your teammates, all right? Moira, don't just spam fade. Play cover. Damage orb when they're stacked up. Heal an orb if you really need to. Use your range, and you'll be good. You have all of these all of these heroes you have, you need to... There's a lot to work there, but I, th I think if you can just kind of take one step at a time, you'll be in a good spot. But yeah, cover is important. Like, you're, you were out of position a lot. You were all over the place. Like, there's a lot of different stuff. There's a lot of different stuff that we've been that you could do, but I think you start with that, you'll be in a good spot. Now I wanted to show one more thing here. Okay, you see that 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 like Do you see the circle there? You see the circle? You can see it lighting up on like the, the alt charge thing in front of me? That's your range on Lucio. You see that? See? That's your range. Okay, so like if I'm right here, this in theory should heal the see the bots? They're getting healed by me. See? Well, the first bot is. The second bot isn't here. I'll put. I'll, I'll get a little bit. There you go. So when someone's like, "Oh, don't you have to be right next to him to heal his Lucio?" Nope. So you have a huge radius. You can. You can do that. See. Same with speed. This is they be getting speed. They be getting heal. I'm heal boosting them. See. Benefiting from the heal boost. Nah, I might even be close. See. So that's the range right there that you want to look for. All right. Yeah, you need LOS, but like that's almost a given at that point. But yeah, I agree. Point that out was good. But there you go. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to all three YouTubes. Leave a comment. All of that helps. If you want to submit your own spectator, look in the description below. You'll see my Discord right there and what you're going to be able to join the Discord and uh, submit there. Make sure to follow the rules and all of that. We also record these live on stream. If you look below the webcam, you can see the Twitch chat right there. We have a lot of fun here. Stop by if you haven't. And with that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day slash night.